Okay, YouTube, so my uh, ABS problem with my 2002 four-wheel drive uh, Nissan Xterra, um, the code C1113 for the um, G sensor, it's definitely resolved. Um, it wasn't the, the pin or the three pins for the connector on the sensor like I thought it was, so I'll explain what I wound up having to do. But we'll start it up. Definitely, definitely no ABS light. I'll turn it off and on again. So yeah, definitely resolved. Okay, so we'll explain what goes down with these deceleration or G sensors. Okay, this is my G sensor on mine. I've cleaned all the glue off of the back of the sensor. Um, you'll notice I took um, the three surface mount uh, thick foil 50 ohm resistors and removed them from the board and replaced them with conventional resistors because I work on a lot of Nissans and Hondas and Toyotas and I know I've seen on a lot of Toyota and Subaru products that those lay down resistors fail and cause problems. So I was like, well, I'm already in here screwing around with this thing. I don't want to have that problem. So I took and replaced the resistors with really what's totally overkill and will definitely never have a problem. But the problem with my sensor and I had to had to cut it open to get at the problem. Here's the back side where I cut. You can see where the chip that is the main component of the sensor with you know has the arrow pointing towards the connector. The glue was really attached to that sensor and it, the glue goes into the sensor after they build it and it's a solvent based glue and as the solvent comes out the glue shrinks and so what happened is this glue pulled on that chip on that board and over time with the pull on that chip and the heat cycling and vibration and things like that that goes on with these, the little pins on the chip had come unsoldered from the uh, pads on the board. So I had to um, desolder those three pins that go to the connector remove all the glue and then I was able to remove the board from the sensor so that I could um, <laughs> resolder the little legs of the chip back down and yeah that definitely fixed this vehicle um, I didn't need to replace the resistors but I did because I think it'll make this more reliable I have to glue the top plastic back onto this and reassemble it but I'll tell you, in the Nissan manual, service manual, it says to be like really careful with this sensor if it's dropped or anything like that happens, you know, replace it. And a lot of that is malarkey because I actually dropped that chip when it was unsoldered from the board from a couple feet up over my desk and it hit the floor and I soldered it back on there and, and it does still work perfectly. I'm going to show you how, what you should see out of this device when it's working properly. So, I have my negative lead to ground. I have it set on bolts. There's um, on the black wire with the pink stripe, it's five volts. If I can make a good connection here. Five volts being supplied by the ABS module. And then it's modulated in this with no forces on this unit in the level position. It comes out the, you know, green wire with the red stripe at 2.68 in the horizontal and if you face it face the sensor in this position so the connector is up and you check the voltage at the green wire with the red stripe hold on a second here got the lead on there hard to get okay you have 3.7 volts, which 
which is what you would expect. That's normal. Now I'm going to orient the sensor with the connector facing down. As close to straight down as I can get it without... <laughs> okay, so it's facing basically with the connector facing down. Get my lead positioned here. Yeah, it fell. Ah, this is such, such a pain in the butt to try to do it with two hands. Okay, so let me get the bob there. So one point, uh, I can't get the lead to stay. Okay, yeah, let's just stay put there, buddy. Cannot get the contact to be made. 1.5. If this was straight up and down, and if the connection was solid, <laughs> it would show more like 1.3, but you can see it's at an angle, and that's, and as it moves <laughs> more straight up and down, it'll change closer to 1.3 if I can keep the connection on here. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, I can't do it. But anyway, this works properly. I, that was the repair that was required to solve the ABS light on this Nissan Xterra. See you later.